Now to a story of severe animal abuse at a plantation where a dog was found without part of her tongue and her jawbone was exposed. The reason is that someone actually tied her mouth shut. CBS 4's Kerry Codd joins us from the Coral Springs Animal Hospital where that dog is being treated. And Kerry, do police have any idea who would do such a cruel thing to an animal? Not yet, Elliot. They're hoping that someone in the community will be able to give them a tip that will help to lead to an arrest. That dog that we're talking about was renamed Liberty because the doctors and nurses here at the Coral Springs Animal Hospital helped to liberate her from what police are calling an extreme act of cruelty. Heather Wessel is a veterinary technician. She's also fostering this pit bull mixed breed dog named Liberty. Liberty arrived at the Coral Springs Animal Hospital two weeks ago with a thick rubber band around her muzzle. But the minute we clipped it off, I mean, you could just, she took this breath and it was like, oh, finally. Wessel says Liberty suffered. Part of her tongue was missing, her jawbone was exposed, and she was malnourished. I don't know how she survived with something clamped. How did she eat for all of those days? How did she drink water? The key question investigators are trying to figure out is who put the muzzle on the dog? The dog's owner, we're told, reported her missing July 12th. Then investigators say someone reported seeing a man abandon a dog matching Liberty's description on July 17th. Liberty was found on the streets of Plantation the next day. Investigators rushed her to the hospital where veterinary surgeon Carl Jen worked to close her wound. He says he believes Liberty's muzzle was bound for at least 10 to 14 days. If it had been left untreated, uh, it certainly would have been fatal. He says he's rarely seen a case this bad. Uh, I, I don't, can't imagine anything much crueler uh, than what was done to her. Heather Wessel is impressed by Liberty's demeanor. She says Liberty has remained calm and relatively happy despite what she's been through. As much as I'm going to teach her a lesson in loving and trusting, like she's already taught me the same lesson. You know, be resilient. Um, she's a fighter. And I, I just think that's awesome about her. Liberty will undergo more surgeries, we're told. The veterinarian says she will hopefully be able to eat and drink on her own someday, but that she will not regain full movement in her, in her nose and upper lip. If you have any information on who injured this dog, contact Crime Stoppers here in Broward at 954-493-TIPS. Live in Coral Springs, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. This is awful. Carrie, thank you. Two